In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to download your PDF manual and sync it to your iPad using Windows. So the first thing you're going to, this is the ccme.org website, you're going to put in your email address and password. Once you've logged in, you'll see all of the courses that you've either purchased in the past, if they're self-study, or the live courses that you have registered for. So once you're at your conference registrations, you'll find the, the manual for the course. And this is released three days before the course starts. So what you'll do is you'll click on the manual and we'll let you know via an email when you can um, access the manual. So you'll click on the manual and it'll download to your computer. Okay, so as you can see, I've downloaded the file to my desktop and this is the original file here. It's the zip file um, for the NEMBR course. Now it depends on what course you're obviously downloading, but this is the, the manual for the, the NEMBR course. Um, and what you're going to want to do is unzip it so, to your desktop. And then from there, when you open up that folder, you'll get these two things, Mac OS 10, which is not what we're going to use because we're on Windows, and the NMBR manual. So you're going to double click on NMBR manual. Then you're going to see the different folders for the different stuff you need. So you have the PowerPoints, the PDFs, instructions, and accreditation and schedule. So the easiest way to do this, honestly, is uh, don't use an iPad. <laughs> um, you can't really take notes as well. Um, it's harder to sync it up in iTunes. It just doesn't work very well. Um, really the best way is to use your laptop and just open up the PDFs within your computer, within Windows. Um, that way you can. it's a lot easier with the keyboard to make notes. It's a lot easier just to, to run things in general. But if you're going to have to sync it up to your iPad for some reason, here's how you do it. So what you're going to do is open up the PDFs, and here's all of the PDFs for the course. Now, what you're going to do is open up iTunes, and you're going to plug in your iPad. So you can see that I have my iPad plugged in right here. And the first thing we're going to do is click on this down arrow up at the top that says Books. We're going to click Edit Menu, and we're going to click on Books right there. So now, we're going to go to the books menu and you're going to have books, authors, audiobooks, and PDFs. You're going to click on PDFs. And I already tried this with the first pictorial book to make sure this worked. Um, so, what you're going to do is take the rest of your files. So, I'm just going to take, let's say, um, cardiology to environmental emergencies. Okay, so I've got those highlighted and I'm going to bring them over in here and it's going to transfer them over. Okay, so once you've added the PDFs into the PDF section under library, you're going to see them all here. So I only have one, two, three, four, five. Um, again, you're going to add all of the ones that you want in there. It's probably going to be the entire course. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on this icon up here. This is my iPad. When I plugged it in, this shows up. So you're going to click on this icon up here. And it's going to bring up your iPad, basically your iPad information. From there, you're going to click on Books. Okay, and once you're in this screen, you're going to see the files, that, the PDFs down here. And you're going to click on Sync Books, All Books, and click on Sync. Don't click on Done. I did that by accident. Click on Sync. And now it's sending the PDFs directly to your iPad. Okay, so now all the files are transferred over. So you can see that if I click on my device under books, so on, on my device right here, that's showing what's on my iPad. Under books, I've got the one, two, three, four, five uh, PDFs that I put on there. So now I'll show you what's on my iPad. Okay, so now you can see what's on my iPad. And uh, what I'm gonna click on is iBooks. That's where all the files get synced to. So that's on the fourth row down, uh, iBooks, the orange icon with the book. Click on that, and then now you can see all of the PDFs that I synced up. So you can also see some other books I have, but this is where all your PDFs are going to be. And so we've got environmental emergencies, dermatology, all the books, all the PDFs that I synced on the computer are now on my iPad. And then I'll click on one of them, environmental emergencies, and you'll see all the slides here that you can go along with the lectures for. All right, thank you.